want to talk about one thing today, and that is choices. You know, life is a series of choices that we make and what comes off it with the consequences. And people often say, make sure you know what God is telling you to do. But sometimes he doesn't tell you exactly what to do. Whereas I say, make sure you are discerning what you feel that is best for you and God in your life. Because choices come every day, big ones and small ones. And the reality is sometimes God can take a step back so we can see what kind of choice we'll make without him telling us directly. Because in reality, choices that we make often define and indicate our motivations. It shows our heart and it also shows our intention and our agenda in life. It can really tell us whether we want to be close to God or whether we want to do our own thing. And the choices we make display that. If God wanted to tell us what to do in everything that we did, He wouldn't have created us as mindless robots saying, yes God, I will do it. But instead, He has created us with free will so that it's up to us to make a discerning and mature choice that will fill our hearts. And at our heart is to say, yes God, I want to be with you, I want to journey with you, I want to make the decisions in my life that align to your word and to your heart. God delights in that because we are actively and willingly responding to his love with our own love. And you know, people freak out about stepping outside of God's will because they're afraid to take the wrong step, they'll miss out what God wants for them. But in reality, it is in the steps that we take that God is with us. And when we have the right heart for him saying, God, I want to be close to you, I want to draw close to you, I want to do what you want me to do. God will bless those steps and he'll take us to where he wants us. Because the truth is, God is more concerned about our hearts, our attitude and our mindset than he is more than about our activities and our accomplishments. So God is with us in whatever we do as long as we have the heart for him. As it says in Colossians 3 verse 17, in whatever you do, do it for the glory of God, giving thanks to him. So when we carry the heart for God and we make the choices that benefit us and our relationship with God, he is with us every step out of the way. When we do take the wrong step, we do face trouble, but God is with us, helping us in those troubles. And I came to a point in my life in the last few months where I finished the Bachelor of Arts in Ministry, a three-year course. And after that, I didn't know what to do with myself. I was seeking God, I was praying to Him to ask Him and to tell me what to do with my life, to give me a clear answer. But He wasn't giving me anything and I was getting frustrated because I didn't know what to do. Until I realised I was presented with the choice in front of me, what to do. And with these choices, I had to weigh them up. Weigh the pros and cons, weigh the benefits. Am I going to draw closer to this? Is this what I feel God wants me to do with my life and for Him to give Him the glory? And through this process, I was able to come to a decision that now I will live with. And I'll press in closer to God because I want God to do great things in my life. And out of this choice, I'm going to step into this decision and see what God does with it. I just wanted to use this time to remind you that you face choices every day. Small choices, big choices. Choices that will take you closer to God or that will take you a step further. Choices that will build you up, that will build construction in your life or choices that will tear you down and destruct. As you are faced with choices every day, take the approach to have a discerning heart and ask yourself the questions. Where does my heart really lie? What steps do I want to take in life? What attitude do I have? Do I want to draw closer to God or not? And God is not responding to you. Maybe the choice is up to you to make and God wants to see what kind of choice you will make. So go to his word, go to his prison and weigh up the choices you have in life because the choice is yours.